I seriously need to get another mic situation. <sighs> okay. Is, is it working? It has been a minute. Hello. Okay. Uh, okay, now I can hear myself. Let's start this. Okay, so <laughs> this is a little awkward or it's it's been a while but in spirit of it being the last couple days of um the year i wanted to update the few people <laughs> that are watching and i wanted to come back on here and say that your girl is at it again and we're starting a new project which is oddly timing with last time when i was starting a new project of vlogging and posting every week but this time it's gonna be dun dun dun, dun drum roll a podcast uh, I know I know I know Karen we've had enough of your talking but I haven't I have so much to tell you and so much to say and immediately the I Spy song is coming on where she's like you thought I was feeling you but it's more of you thought you knew me you didn't even like that was just the surface now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty we're gonna dig deep we're gonna go through the mantle we're gonna get into that magma and you're really gonna see <laughs> the true person that i am and yeah i'm excited and i just want you guys to be prepared um to either unsubscribe <laughs> to that because um i'm gonna be a menace and i am gonna put it out into the internet for anyone who's willing to spare their time for me so yeah and i also wanted to this is not the beginning of the podcast this is just a life update but i'm just letting you guys know that most likely next week it's gonna start but yeah so um, life update since I've been gone um I have a therapist now so yay I don't know how long I'll have her because I am <laughs> 25 and when I turn 26, I will no longer be able to mooch off of my parents' um, health insurance, aka welfare. So I really will be solo bolo on my own, an individual amongst society, a nomad, sort of, kind of, a rebellious civilian something like that so therapy has been going great it has i don't know i guess provided me to have someone to talk to and have an outlet to like validate and reassure and like kind of i guess comb through thoroughly like what are your what are what are your intentions what are you what is the reason behind this for those of you who've been to therapy you guys know and for those of you who haven't it is a learning experience but it's been good and things have been progressing slowly 
like physically but internally I'm like oh my god things are happening and I gotta take all of this energy and fuel and I need to put it into something and stream it out and that's why we are here the book is going very slowly and I think that is also why it's leading me into like let's start something different because I cannot sit down for a long time and write to save my life and that's probably why I for a long time was struggling with songwriting because as much as I could start it it was hard for me to finish writing the rest of the song and that's how I'm feeling with the book right now where I'm like I can start it I have that idea but like I just I don't think I can sit and write I have to do something but you know what I will do what I will do is I'll sit and talk so that's the plan so far and yeah I think I'm gonna name the podcast your delulu is the salulu or I might name it um I cry every day because that is something that I say often and even though it sounds like a not good thing it's not not a good thing it's most of the time when I'm when I say I cry every day it's literally me just like being so overwhelmed with like emotion that is so like joyful that I'm just like I cry every day um so it's something that I say in endearment and as a joke but it's also true because when I, I only say it when I am literally on the verge of tears or am crying so yeah I am an emotional human being and the only other way that I can let or express it is literally through my voice and so in a way she is she went to the extremes and I feel like this might be a good middle path but yeah and on top of that or in relation to that um I have dwelled in into more of the astrology world of the mystical spiritual world and I don't know if I should do another separate video on this where I'm explaining an even more a crazy epiphany breakdown of something else that I discovered but there's this thing called um, the human design experiment and long story short um, my sister sent it to me from a friend who recommended and I listened to the podcast episode about it and I downloaded the app and there's different apps out there but I just downloaded their specific app and since then I have been hooked not hooked too much because I am just like on the surface of it I haven't dwelled deep into it yet but so far like first thing that they're telling me is like on the dot spot on exactly who I am as a human being and I suggest that if you guys are interested or want to get into it I mean actually I don't even know if it's really astrology because because it doesn't I don't think it really uses astrology and like saying like oh because Jupiter is in your 10th house and it's in Pisces it's like it's not like that it's like you put in your birth date your birth time where you were born but after you put that information down they have this whole chart that looks like an out a silhouette of a human and there's like numbers and like lines and it like is just showing the flow anyways it basically I want to say talks about like how you 
function as a human being. So I feel like that definitely ties into the reason why I think I have ADHD, which I still do think I have ADHD, but this is like so, I don't know. This is more like a, I don't know how to say it, like more like a work with your gifts and work with work with what you got instead of trying to figure out like I don't know working working around it you know like work work with it work through it don't work around it don't avoid it this is not like a dysfunctional thing about you this is the special thing about you and this is how you function and this is the right way for you to do things therefore that's why you did it so I just feel I don't know more aligned with it it just speaks to me and it makes me feel even more validated and even more like yes like it's giving more fuel to my fire of like and you're not weird that's just how you are and and there are specific people that will gravitate towards that and will help nurture and flourish and and so will you for those you know so yeah human design um in human design if you want to know i'm a manifester generator so basically i'm a fangirl that's what i am gonna take it as as like the most generic and very broad term for it um but that's that's the best way that i understand it as basically i'm a fangirl of every little thing which is essentially what my book is about which is essentially what my life and how I view things accumulates all to in my head and in my heart like it's those little pieces that like build up into a vision a goal a person a feeling a place those things and before I wasn't able to like pinpoint why but now I feel like now I feel like this solidifies that I am not crazy and it is because it has always been a part of my soul so yeah that's my life update and yeah I hope everyone is having um a good holiday and wishing everyone a happy new year okay i'm gonna go now and i'll see you next week (laughs) get excited everyone we are about to adventure onto a new roller coaster ride yeah okay oh um i'm gonna put videos out every thursdays now because thursdays are my favorite day of the week is my favorite day of the week so yeah see you next thursday bye